So today we're going to look at a very specific sector, which is the commercial vehicles. And uh, the whole purpose for today's webinar is to provide you an overview of some of the interesting application areas that people have been using Atoms for um, relate, related to commercial vehicles, so basically heavy trucks or buses. And as you can see on the screen, Atoms can deal with not only like the system level sort of analysis like ride and handling, which is like the traditional strengths of Atoms. Uh, we can also cope with some of the self-system level or component level sort of um, simulation. For example, the powertrain. Uh, you know, we can co-simulate with control algorithms for ABS system uh, optimization. Uh, we can work with uh, fatigue software for durability analysis. Um, atoms can be applied for the trailer suspension systems, as well as something like the brake hose routing issue. And uh, so some of the case studies might um, actually, like the brake hose routing, might be related to some new technologies that we have introduced recently. So if you are interested in any of those um, use cases or examples, um, send an email to me. I will have my email listed at the end of the webinar. So we have um, more detailed information like a, uh, an article or some documentation behind each case study. And if you're interested in doing that or replicating that, let, let us know. We can send you more information. And if you have any questions, our technical people can also help you to apply those technologies uh, in your specific projects. So let's start with ride and handling. First, um, to those who are not familiar with Adam's car, so the name Adam's car might seem like it, it is only for the assessment for passenger cars. However, this is not certainly not the case. Vehicle architecture in Adam's car is limited, is not limited to two axes and four tires. In fact, any vehicle systems with like steering wheel and compliant, compliant tires is likely a suitable candidate for Adam's car, like the heavy trucks or the buses, basically. We basically use templates in Adam's car to represent major subsystems, such as uh, steering, suspension, tires, and powertrain. This Adam's car product automatically assembles the subsystems into the full vehicle model. So once you have the vehicle model, what you can do is uh, you can either further customize this tool to have some of the uh, more specific features that you want, like a highly customized test rig here you see on the screen. Or you can perform a series of vehicle events, because we have a library of test events that you can leverage, which we will basically talk about. Uh, we will briefly cover that in the uh, following sections, in the following slides. We also provide a library of standard reports and if you have any kind of a report that you want for your specific projects, you can always customize that and add it to your template. So regarding the vehicle events, we have uh, the, the traditional events like the suspension. Uh, and in 2015, in last year, we have introduced a new configuration, new feature called the TASA, it's the tandem axle suspension analysis. Um, specifically designed for multi-axle suspension system in a single assembly, so which makes life easier for like the truck or bus manufacturers. Uh, we also have a list of handling analysis. We have this, uh, different steering events, like the different, uh, like the ramp steer, impulse steer, or single lane change, things like that. Adam's car comes with the cornering, uh, list of cornering events as well. So it's the straight line events, basically acceleration, braking, you know, braking on split mill, things like that. We also have a right plugging, basically allows you to perform some of the right analysis more conveniently than you could do before. And um, in the, also in year 2015, 
we have, uh, we have incorporated the dual wheel support into the right analysis. So as you can see uh, on the right, on the screen, on the right hand side. And some of the components in the um, right specific plugging uh, includes things like the hydro mount or the frequency dependent bushing, which is um, very handy for some of the projects. And besides all of that, we also have a specific template for the truck, uh, for the truck basic um, manufacturers, which is called the Adams Car Truck Plugging. So the truck plugging contains example heavy vehicle templates, subsystems, and assemblies such as the dual wheels, leaf springs. You know, we have a tractor, a trailer, uh, a bus model to get you start with basically, and. Um, Furthermore, um, the Adams Car Smart Driver control system has been enhanced recently to better tune to be better tuned for heavy vehicles. So that's really a um, convenient sort of a plugging that we provide for people who specifically design buses or trucks. So here's an example from a company called uh, the Isuzu. So this uh, example that you see on screen is a bus that they designed. It's a 12 meter long bus called the City Port. It's supposed to be holding up uh, up to 103 people in this uh, single bus, the maximum capacity. And in this specific project, they are using Adams Car to perform maneuvers with a model modeling including like driving over a bump or like the double lane change. They perform the same maneuver in both physical tests and Adams car environments. And they compare the results. So basically they have very good correlation between their Adams models and their physical test models. And after that, they have used Adams Insight to create a design experiment that they want to basically they want to use that to investigate the effect of the suspension design parameters on some of the key performance variables such as the rollover risk handling and the right aspect of the vehicle and as a result they were able to optimize the suspension parameters so that they can reduce the rollover risk of the bus by 8% 8.37% and they have um, also found that the simulation reduced the time required, required for them to bring new product to market, which is a major success to the company. So that's a very classic application of using Atoms uh, to perform some of the vehicle dynamics analysis or leveraging Atoms insights to optimize some of the subsystems or like, for example, the suspension systems. Next, let's take a look at some of the component level analysis, or more like how the component is, in, uh, is how the component is blended into a subsystem level analysis. And the case study here will be uh, Navistar and Tech Mahindra. So they were uh, so Navistar is a major uh, is a, one of the world leading uh, heavy truck or bus manufacturers. So this, in this specific example, they were uh, designing a uh, basically the brake hose routing issue for a truck which is, uh, I believe it's 80,000 pounds, which is a very heavy truck. For that specific configuration, they have 11 hoses uh, in that suspension system. So uh, basically what they want to do is to find a way to uh, route the cables through a tiny space, and also they want to avoid the cable contacting any kind of sharp edges of the rest of the chassis systems while the vehicle is moving on you know, different sorts of terrains or operating under different kind of scenarios. And um, so previously they were not able to simulate that sort of uh, large deformation for the cable in the full vehicle system. But with the recent introduction of uh, the FE part, which is uh, known as the ANCF beam elements, uh, 
they were they are basically using that technology to simulate their cable system, their uh, brake pulses, and their suspension system. So just a brief, quick uh, recap on the ANCF. Uh, it is a native geometrically nonlinear part with uh, this, with basically uh, capabilities for you to see some of the stress analysis, and also you can it does undergo large deformation. So it is a nonlinear, geometrically nonlinear beam element. So any components such as cables or beam. Um, Anything that has a beam shape can be simulated with the FE part, which is the ANCF beam. So they use that technology to uh, simulate the cable, and they, the team also assembled the holes um, in both the Adams environment and the actual vehicle the same way. So there are three steps. There are a three steps um, configuration. So first, they will position the cable. And second, they put it into the right orientation. And the third is that they do the, um, the appropriate rotation for the holes uh, that they want. And they also perform a series of similar um, setup in the real physical environment. So what they wanted to compare is that with the same um, setup, do they get the same position of the hoses in the real physical environment as they do with the FE part in the Adams environment. And the correlation is very good. So the where you can see the white meshed like hoses are the positions for the real physical uh, scenarios. And the blue ones are the one are the position that they get from the Adams simulation using the FE part. And you can see there are, there's excellent correlation between the test and the simulation. And with this trusted model then they were able to basically um, put all those hoses in a sort of a, in a real suspension system, and they can perform. Uh, they can do whether like driving the vehicle on the rough road or just put the suspension on a specific test rig and um, run that suspension system through different sorts of um, road conditions or different uh, testing scenarios. And they were able to see or visualize whether or not there's any kind of contact between those hoses and the rest of the chassis components. So in this case, it really gives them a benefit of a, you know early evaluation uh, of the configuration or the routing of the hoses before they actually build their first prototype. So that's a pretty interesting use case. Uh, for the, uh, the new technology, what we call the FE part. And the next application we want to briefly talk about is the, um, the MVD and the controls integration for ABS system. And in this area, we have a, uh, also a very good customer called Meritor. They basically, um, there's, um, there's been a change in the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Analysis called the FMVSS regulation that requires a 30% reduction in stopping distance for heavy trucks. So in, to cope with that new uh, change in the regulation, there are two ways you can do that. You can either achieve that by designing bigger, heavier brakes, or you can try to address that by optimizing your control algorithms to you know, in, improve your braking performance without um, having a more costly braking system. And uh, they choose the latter one. So what they did is that they simulate the system level behavior of the components and subsystems in Adams environments. So they have a full vehicle built in Adams and run that through different vehicle events. And they also have a, their control algorithms simulated in a uh, control system that they developed. So what they did is that they can optimize or change their control logics, and they can co-simulate their control algorithm with what, they, what the full vehicle virtual prototype they have in Atoms, and basically verify that virtually 
um, how successful they are with the modification of the control algorithm without going to the physical test every time they make a change in, the, in their control algorithm, in their control programs. And as a result, they were able to exceed the target by reducing the break, uh, it's exceeding the target by 28% of the um, existing requirement for the 30% reduction for the stopping distances. And that's a very classic example for the co-simulation between atoms and another control software to basically help you evaluate your control programs. And uh, we have um, webinars talking about that before as well. We did a demo on the atoms and simulating co-simulation with an ABS system. So again, if you're interested in, in that, send me an email. We can uh, give you more information on that as well. Next, uh, let's talk about some of the um, powertrain and uh, MVH study. And the case study here we want to introduce is a uh, project from Scania. Scania, is, um, as we all know, is also a world-leading truck manufacturer, heavy truck manufacturers in the world. And um, in this case, what they did is that uh, they were working with our MSC service team, and we provided, we built a uh, highly customized um, powertrain design plugin for their specific pro for their specific configurations, and with that plugin, they were able to very easily come up with the detailed powertrain design for different configurations of their design systems. Uh, and with that detailed powertrain system, they were able to perform uh, some of the analysis, like the gear stiffness test, uh, you know, the gear shift the drop clutch, and things like that. And also they were able to use the atoms insight to study different powertrain combinations. And on the lower right corner, you can see that here, this is a test for the, uh, basically the gear stiffness, the, co the correlation of the gear stiffness between the simulation and the measurements. And they have achieved a very uh, a fairly ideal um, good correlation between the two scenarios, and as a result, they were able to also solve a lot of the quality issues 30 to 40 percent faster than with the previous methods, which they did uh, is uh, the combination of one these analysis and the physical tests. So, atom simulation were able to give them a higher fidelity for their model. So they have better correlation, and they were able to trust their model better than some of the one the only analysis. Okay, next let's talk about the uh, the fatigue and durability. So here's a very classic flow chart for um, some of the fatigue analysis you, you can perform on a on your vehicle. So typically you would start with uh, you know geometry and mesh for a specific component that you want to perform the, the fatigue analysis on. And then you would go to the natural environment or any FEA environment and perform a modal analysis. And when you get the modal analysis, you will be able to generate a, the modal neutral file, which you can use as an input into atoms to create a flexible part. And when you get uh, then you can go to the atoms environment and perform different sorts of a vehicle dynamic analysis and get the road loads that you want. And when you get the load history, you then go back to natural environment and perform the subsequent FEA and fatigue analysis. And that's a very typical and a classic and a, you know very successful workflow for a lot of our customers. And since last year we have introduced another toolkit called the Atoms to Nav Toolkit, which basically gives you, uh, gives Atoms users a more convenient way to perform fatigue analysis. So now everything from this box is put into the background. So what you can do is that right after you perform the vehicle dynamic analysis in Atoms, you will be able to uh, conduct another fatigue analysis directly in the Atoms environment. And when you so the process is like you see here in the, on the screen. 
So there will be a uh, another sort of um, utility window for you to initiate your fatigue analysis in Atoms. And when you're done with the fatigue analysis, you can then directly go to the Atoms, Atoms post processor and um, open the results that you just um, performed with the analysis that you conducted. So you will be able to initiate the analysis. You will also be able to view the, the fatigue results, such as the log life or like the, the life cycle of the components directly in the Atoms post processor. So now you can not only get the stress and strain analysis results, but also the fatigue analysis results. So a prerequisite for this toolkit is that you need to have the natural embedded fatigue uh, installed on your computer. Because all this is doing is to provide you an interface uh, to move a lot of the stuff into the background. But in the background, it still uses or utilizes the M M natural embedded fatigue technology. This is an example uh, for the uh, traditional Adams to NEF um, approach. So it's basically we're evaluating the fatigue uh, results for a cabin of a heavy truck. This was covered uh, also in one of the previous webinars in detail. So if you want, also let me know. I can send you more information on that. So that's a the traditional two-step um, approach. So basically, you will get the atoms, uh, the load loads, the load history from atoms, and you feed the results into Nastran to perform the fatigue analysis. And the good thing about that, to more to the more traditional method, is that you don't have to go through uh, the three steps. There are only two environments, which is atoms and Nastran. For the more traditional approach, you have to uh, after you're done with the atoms load history, you might need to feed your results into a um, FDA software and perform the stress analysis before you can go to another fatigue environment and perform the, perform the durability. So this two-step uh, analysis allows you to directly perform the fatigue analysis uh, right after you have the Adams results. So you can basically get the road loads from either, you know, the testing or the virtual testing with Adams and Adams car. And then you can you will be able to perform the fatigue analysis. And in this scenario, uh, we did a correlation between the test and uh, the simulation, which should turn out to be um, correlating very well with each other. So all the hot spots matches very well with what they observed in the real life. So with that accurate model, with the confident in with the, with that level of confidence in your model, you will be able to perform any uh, of the future analysis actually before you are uh, in the in the process in the R and D stage before you actually build your first prototype to make sure you optimize your design to avoid some of the critical uh, high hot spots for the stress and strain. And the final um, discipline we want to talk about, or the final application area that we want to cover, is uh, the trailer system, the trailer suspension system for the heavy truck. And uh, the case study we're gonna, going to cover here is from Hendrickson Trailer Commercial Vehicle. As we all know, Hendrickson uh, is a leader and an innovator of commercial vehicle suspension system, and uh, it has been uh, the, main, the main supplier for the commercial, uh, for the trailer system for more than 100 years. So that's some of the benefits of using Adams Core to replace some of the physical some of the physical tasks in the uh, trailer system of a heavy truck. And also, we have a very detailed article with this case study. So if you are interested, let me know. We can send you some more information regarding this uh, specific scenario. So that will be uh, some of, that will be um, all of the case studies that I want to share with you today regarding the commercial vehicles. So again, we cope with um, not only the system level analysis, but also the subsystem 
or even the component level analysis. And the beauty of Adam's simulation compared with the traditional physical prototypes are, uh, first, you will be able to save a lot of save costs and time um, by performing the virtual prototype comparing with um, your traditional physical prototype. And also, within the certain amount of time, you will actually be able to evaluate more, much, many more scenarios that you could do with your physical prototype, which can give you a lot of advantages and, um, and provide you a very convenient way to avoid any kind of um, any sort of uh, engineering issues or problems before you build your first prototype. So those are some of the um, benefits that can come with the Atom simulation. And um, so before we go to our um, uh, Q&A session, we have a few kindly reminders. 